Welcome to Excel 2010 Business Math video number 76. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel 2010 Business Math Chapter 9, click on the link below the video. And hey, we're on the sheet P for principal. This video, we're going to see how to solve for principal. Here's our formula. We'll be given interest, a rate, and a time, and we'll be able to back in and calculate our principal. Now, back in Chapter 3, we saw the formula part equals base times rate. And we had a similar diagram that we used when we had to calculate for something besides part. Now, this is section 9.2. And we've been, in 9.1, we calculated interest, right, using straight multiplying, principal times rate times time. But here we want to use this diagram to figure out what the formula is for solving for part, for principal. There's the principal. If you cover principal up with your finger. I don't have a finger to show you, but cover that up. You're left with rate time in the denominator and interest in the numerator. So principal equals interest divided by rate times time. right? And then you can do that next video. We'll see how to solve for rate by covering your finger up there. It's interest divided by principal times time. All right. So in this video, we're going to solve. We're going to use this formula here. Now, when we calculate it and put our formula in Excel, we want interest divided by, and then we always have to put parentheses, rate times time. All right, let's look at some examples. Now, sections 9.2 and 9.3, the textbook is mostly going to use banker's interest. So it'll be days divided by 360. So they'll use 360 all the time and less otherwise stated. All right, so let's solve for principal. Here's our first example. If you paid 225 in interest and the term of the loan was 90 days, and the simple annual simple interest rate was 8%, what was the original amount borrowed? We were, were solving for the principal. 8%, 90 days, and the interest we paid is 225. Now let's calculate fraction of year. And I did this a little bit different. In earlier videos, we did equals the days, and we just divided by. And I typed in 360. That's fine if that, you want to do that way. But I kind of like doing it this way here, because that number really can change. All right, so I'm going to put 90 divided by 360. Now we have fraction of the year, and that we always need to calculate that when we're given days or months. Then once we have the time, we can make our uh, calculation. Now, our calculation is for principal. All right, we're still going to use the round. We have dollar amounts. We're required to round, and we're multiplying and dividing, or dividing decimals. In our case, we're going to be doing both. So, what are, what's our formula? Oh, yeah, interest divided by, and then in parentheses, rate times time, and that time is a fraction of the year close parentheses. All right, so there, that's our uh, calculation for principal. Comma 2, because we're rounding to the penny. 11,250. We calculated the principal, given this information here. Now let's check it. Now let's use our, our basic interest equals part times rate times time formula. So it equals round. Let's see, so our principal. That's the thing we just calculated, times our rate, times our time, fraction of a year, comma 2. Oh, excellent. We checked using our newly calculated principal. We checked using that and got exactly what one of our inputs was. All right, let's go and do a next example. If you paid 90 bucks in interest and the term of the loan was 45 days and the annual simple interest rate was 10%. What's the principal? Let's calculate our fraction of the year. Again, I'll put the 360 there. 0.125. Once we have the fraction, we can use our round function and go, hey, the interest we paid divided by open parentheses, rate times time, fraction of the year, close parentheses, comma 2. OK, so 7,200 was the principal amount. Let's check this. Same as we did just a moment ago, our newly calculated principal times rate times
times time is a fraction of the year, comma two. 90 bucks, ding, 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 that's what we got there. Okay, now this example is month, so we know that we paid interest of 110. Our simple interest rate was 5%, and we had our term on our loan of four months. Fraction of the year, months divided by 12. Our formula for principal, why don't we take our interest paid divided by, in parentheses, rate times time. Time is a fraction of the year, comma 2. Enter. So 6,600. And let's check it. Principal times rate times fraction of the year. Oh, there we go. Ding, ding, ding. 110. Now we have one last example. So this time we're given slightly different information. If the loan issue date was 2512 and the maturity date was 11112, the annual simple interest rate was 6% and the simple interest paid was 625. Find the original amount borrowed. Now this one, calculate time and interest based on exact interest calculations. So I'm just giving you a heads up, that's what the book will do. All the calculations will basically be 360 except for one or two and they'll say, hey, do this exact. So let's do it exact. Now, the trick here is what? We don't know the term of the loan. But if we know the issue date and the maturity date, since we know that dates are serial numbers, underneath there are actual whole numbers, we can simply subtract them. So the term on the loan, later date minus earlier date. That's how we learned it earlier in the class. That's the concept for date math. But maturity date minus issue date is the exact uh, calculation here. Ah, 270. Now check this out. 2012 is leap year, right? So when Excel did this calculation, it actually counted the extra day in February. In 2012, February has 29 days. All right, so now when we calculate a fraction of the year, we're going to use 366 because this is in a uh, leap year. Now, again, we mentioned earlier, uh, if you're out there working, check and see how calculations are made. For example, I definitely have had credit card contracts that said they used the denominator 365.25, right? And they use that all the time instead of doing 366 in leap year. All right, no problem. We're going to do it in leap year. So we're taking that divided by 366. And there's the fraction of the year. Once we have that, we can go ahead and calculate this new function called blah, blah, blah. <laughs> round. OK, so ready? We're going to take the amount of the interest divided by, open parentheses, rate times time, close parentheses, comma 2. OK, so 14,120 and 37 pennies. That was the original amount we borrowed. All right, so we're going to check this using our principal times rate times time, which is our fraction of the year. So principal P times R times T. Ding, ding, ding. So there we have 625. We've checked our calculation. All right, uh, so in this video, we solved for principal. And uh, next video, we'll see how to solve for rate. All right, see you next video.